and then the fifth piece, which is really incredible, is that they saw an increase in dopamine by 250%. Mm. That's that feel-good chemical that yeah. naturally, naturally produces within the body. Yeah, so yeah. dopamine is a neurotransmitter, and it really helps control your brain's reward and pleasure centers. Yeah. So you see dopamine deficiencies uh, in Parkinson's disease, and people with low dopamine are prone, more prone to addiction. Um, dopamine is more known as the motivation molecule, mm. right? It provides drive and focus you need to be productive. So kind of here's how dopamine works. You do something that you enjoy, like eating your favorite food, having sex. Uh, in this case, even if you don't enjoy it, but you take a cold shower, dopamine, boom, mm. releases. And what it does is it's giving you a sense of pleasure, a sense of reward, mm. and it's telling you, hey, this thing feels good. You should keep doing it. Hello and welcome to Activating Greatness. I'm Nathan Crane, an award-winning author, documentary filmmaker, and health and wellness expert. And I'm Derek Crane, a certified personal trainer, health and fitness coach, and trainer of professional athletes. Each week, we broadcast new episodes with experts on life, health, fitness, business, and leadership to help you manifest the greatness that's already within you. Activating Greatness is about helping you live your life to your fullest potential and live with more meaning, purpose, health, and fulfillment. In this episode, we're gonna share with you how to boost your dopamine, increase noradrenaline, balance your blood pressure, and accelerate your fat burning with one simple, natural thing you can do every day, absolutely free. And before we dive into this, we wanna thank our sponsors for helping make this podcast possible. Performance tea is something both Derek and I drink and love. One thing we really like about it is that it's handcrafted in small batches and made of the best medicinal herbs. We're both huge believers and consumers of herbs and love the healing benefits that herbal medicine brings to the body. Go to performancetea.com and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount off your order. They have incredible teas for energy, focus, recovery, and balance. Again, that's performancetea.com and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount today. So what is the one thing you can do to naturally boost dopamine levels, increase your noradrenaline, and accelerate fat burning absolutely free? Well, it's called cold hydrotherapy. Now a little bit of history on hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy has been used Basically, it's bathing in water at different temperatures. It's been widely used by civilizations around the world for many, many, many centuries as ultimately a naturopathic treatment of various diseases, right? We've, we all have uh, heard of or have taken uh, saunas or possibly uh, ice baths or cold showers, um, uh, hot uh, jacuzzis or hot tubs, all these different ways of using water to heal our bodies. I've done a lot of sweat lodges with uh, Native Americans, which is another form, like a steam bath, for example. Very deep spiritual awakening experience. But what's happening when we're doing these things? What's actually happening neurologically and what's happening anatomically and what's happening physically, also mentally, emotionally? So one form of hydrotherapy we're going to focus on specifically today that does all of these incredible things to your body, um, as well as your brain, your mind, emotions, is cold hydrotherapy, specifically cold showers or cold bathing. Now, there's different forms of this, uh, ice bathing, uh, bathing in rivers, um, but the easiest thing is just Turn on your shower on the cold level and take a shower. Now, why would you do this crazy thing? That's a question, right? The most people are like, no, I would never take a cold shower. It's horrible. Well, guess what? Number one, it's incredibly beneficial to you in so many ways. Scientifically, these things have already been proven. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. And um, the more you actually start looking forward to it. And we'll share with you why that is. Now, I started taking cold showers years ago when I lived in San Diego and I, I was trying to remember why because we've been talking about this and I was trying to remember what got me to start taking cold showers and I honestly can't remember. 
Mm-hmm. I must have seen some research on it. I must have, um, you know, looked into it. This was man, five, six, seven years ago now. And I don't remember what the trigger was for me, but I started taking them almost every single day. And, um, and, and I loved them and I could feel the benefits and, you know, I felt more energy, all these different things. But then we moved to Arizona and the water wasn't cold. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of like got me out of the cold showers. Mm -hmm. And then after we moved to Santa Fe, it was kind of like, I just didn't take, I kind of forgot about them. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until recently I saw some, you know, I've been following Wim Hof for a while. Mm -hmm. The guy who like hiked Mount Everest, like with no shirt on and, Mm -hmm. you know, has like the world record of staying in ice water for the longest amount of time or other people would die of hypothermia things like that and he attributes a lot of the success he also has this incredibly boosted immune system attributes a lot of this success to one deep breathing techniques but also mm-hmm. to cold therapy and and it just reminded me it's like oh yeah cold showers i should start mm-hmm. taking these again and so we decided to do some experimenting and so i've been taking cold showers for a little while now once again and I invited Derek yep. to experiment with this at different levels, at different times, um, with different experiences, and, and notate it down. So we'll share some personal experience here with you, and then we'll get into the deeper reasons, the science behind, one, what it's actually doing to you, two, why this is so important and so critical for your long-term health and well-being, and three, what it can do for you in terms of boosting dopamine, burning fat, um, increasing norepinephrine, all these incredible things that help you achieve human potential. So Derek, why don't you start a little bit with like, what are some of the the immediate experiments you started doing? Yeah, so through this study, thank you for inviting me to do this study. I found so many benefits with this and I'm excited to share them. This study was, I did one minute of cold shower. I did three minutes of cold shower. And then I also did a range of somewhere between five and eight minutes. Now, when I was doing that five to eight minutes, I actually went up to a local sauna, a pool, swim area here in Santa Fe, 10,000 waves into the cold water plunge. So I wanted to take, I wanted to really, really see what the results would be at a very cold, almost extreme on that. But starting out with even just one minute, 60 seconds. First off, even just to turn, <laughs> that nozzle, (laughs) you're already deciding to do something that you know is uh, could be uncomfortable. You don't so really want to do it. <laughs> yeah, you're forcing yourself to turn to turn it to the cold. Yeah, yeah. and then the, and but it takes some mental fortitude just doing that. Exactly. <laughs> and then so I right away within that sixty seconds, I noticed mental alertness. It was just almost just more awareness and then I also had just a natural energy boost just with 60 seconds mm-hmm. I know that is that is short and the way that the way that I did the one minute here the three minute here is that I did at the end of I did at the end of the shower mm-hmm. so, so I took a warm shower first took a warm shower and then right yep. at the end just turn it you know which is also I mean you're really warm that mental fortitude just to be like here we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But right well, away. even just staying 60 seconds takes, you know, most people, if they were going to turn the cold on and they weren't really expecting it, um, maybe 10 seconds and turn it off, right? Uh, so there's a level of commitment you have to do, yep. right? How did you feel about that in terms of committing to that? Like, okay, I'm doing this for a minute. Yeah, right away it felt like a goal accomplished. Because, mm. I mean, just to even just to even have that intention that's like, I'm going to set this goal and then really see what the results are. And so when that 60 second hit, I mean, you just do, I I did an alarm clock on my phone, 60 second hit mark, and then get out. So I mean, just right away, just felt like I achieved something. A task was accomplished. Yeah. And you told me it was better than even a cup of yerba mate, which is like a cup of coffee, right? Yeah. Even, even right before... We came in here and did and are doing this interview. I took a cold shower and usually usually around this time, three o'clock in the afternoon, I'll have a cup of mate. Yeah. I decided to do that instead of have a cup of mate. And I've and I'm noticing that there is more mental alertness. 
there is more just I feel what I would say invigorated mm. yeah so that was 60 seconds so then three minutes what was three minutes like three minutes again the the same the same two main ones that I felt mental alertness from the one minute as well that natural energy energy boost and then but afterwards afterwards here I had this I had this feeling of just really feeling refreshed mm. like like be when when we take a warm shower if you get if you get out everything's still like hot and mm -hmm. you know it's, it seems like almost like a steam room in some sense but here i just felt like i was i was even cleaner and and also during just building that mental fortitude to stay in there three minutes compared to just that one minute yeah so three minutes you actually even felt more energized yeah you felt uh, like you said you even felt cleaner somehow and and but you also felt a lot more clarity and focus mm, yeah. and then i had told you that i noticed that past three minutes is where it starts to get easy yeah. right yep. like where four or five minutes plus for me anyways like you know it's just like and it feels really good and and it's not difficult it's not challenging it doesn't even take mental fortitude for me you know after after those three minutes so what did you find when you went longer and again there's an incredible amount of scientific literature on this, which we're going to go into in just a moment that I think is going to really shock you that, that takes all this to the next level. But um, I want you to continue with your personal kind of experiment here first. Now with the five, with that five to eight minute mark, I just put those two together somewhere in between five to eight minutes. This was where I did the cold water plunge. And I noticed some benefits that were definitely onto a whole entire other level compared to the one and three and one of those right away is I felt like it sped up my recovery time because you know strength training boxing personal training doing cardio I noticed that the next day you know there's less joint pain mm. and also with the mental alertness but even more mental alertness uh, when I got out of the cold water plunge and stood there I had immense euphoric feelings that mm. it almost felt like I was floating. Mm -hmm. uh, and also just that mental clarity. Uh, even even being able to feel like my thoughts themselves are clear. Like I focus better. Those are some deeper, deeper aspects of that mental clarity that I felt within that five to eight minute range. So what's important to note here is that these experiences that Derek was having in experimenting with this are not unique. This is across the board. Everybody who I've ever heard from, studied and researched, has basically the exact same experiences. Mm -hmm. And so, including myself, that same cold water plunge at 10,000 waves, mm -hmm. I did two sessions in there, one at about 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and another one at about like 20 minutes. And 30 same, minutes is pretty astounding. <laughs> and yeah, and that, that water is really cold. It's like just barely above freezing. Yeah. And when I got out of that, same thing. Super euphoric, super, like I, my whole body was like vibrating and tingling for like half hour afterwards. Like super clear-minded, you know, willpower increase. All these things, um, uh, anecdotal kind of experiences are just across the board. More clarity, more focus, better than a cup of coffee. All these things. So... The question is, you know, I start asking, why are these things happening? Why are cold showers so beneficial? What's, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of science is out there supporting this? And there's actually a lot of science supporting this. And I found um, basically a collection of scientific studies that was compiled. And there's a huge host of findings um, that describe, but I want to share just kind of five main pieces that you know really give us a deeper understanding as to why cold showers cold bathing ice baths things like that are so beneficial um, these studies looked at this particular portion of it um, cold water immersion at 14 degrees celsius or 57 degrees fahrenheit which is about average for most um cold water in a house, 55 mm -hmm. degrees, 57 degrees. Depends where you are, depends the time of year, depends if your pipes are exposed or underground. But if your water feels pretty cold when you turn it cold, shower, it's, it's probably at about this temperature. Um, and this was based on one hour of um, water immersion with the head above water. Um, 
and this is where these huge percentages come from. But you get the benefits in smaller dosages of time as well, just not you know these high percentages. But just one hour, check this out. Increased metabolic rate by 350%. Dang. So metabolic rate is what? Measurement of the calories that your body burns. Mm -hmm. So just by being in cold water, you know, up to 350% increases your metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. So why that happens is your body starts heating up mm -hmm. uh, to keep itself warm. And in doing that, it has to burn more calories to do that. Now, obviously, this translates to a lot of things, but specifically fat burning and weight loss, right? Mm -hmm. Huge benefits right there. The second one is increased heart rate by 5%. So some people are like, oh, I don't want my heart rate to increase. But actually, an increase by 5% can be a really good thing for a short period. Um, very similar to exercise, right? When you exercise um, and you increase your heart rate, it burns more calories. It improves your cardiovascular system to deliver oxygen to the cells of your body this is actually a very beneficial thing and just being in cold water is similar to exercise mm -hmm. in that sense the third thing is that it raised systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure by seven percent and eight percent again someone with high blood pressure like oh, i don't want to raise my blood pressure true but um in terms of raising blood pressure by seven and eight percent for a short period of time it's the same thing that happens in exercise once again mm -hmm. a slight increase in blood pressure just like an exercise is actually really good for you. Um, mm -hmm. Being inactive, not exercising, uh, and eating a poor diet is actually what creates high blood pressure, and that's dangerous. But physical exercise, or things like cold showers, where you're emulating physical exercise, where you increase blood pressure for a short period of time, um, can actually be a very, very healthy thing for you. The third thing, is that it increased plasma noradrenaline by 530%. Mm -hmm. Now, noradrenaline is, is mm -hmm. not as commonly known as norepinephrine. Norepinephrine and noradrenaline are the exact same thing. They're just called mm -hmm. differently. So norepinephrine, you're probably more familiar with. Um, it's stored in small amounts in the adrenal tissue, and it functions primarily as a neurotransmitter uh, with some functions as a hormone, which is released into the bloodstream from the adrenal glands. Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is it increases the output of blood from the heart and increases blood glucose levels mm -hmm. and modulates the immune system functions such as T cells. T cells, might, you might know as killer cells. Mm -hmm. T cells are basically the cells in your body that fight cancer, bacteria, mm -hmm. viruses, along with many other functions of the immune system. So. This is literally improving your immune system, increasing the function of the killer T cells, helping to prevent or reverse cancer, bacteria, viruses, things like that, right? It's mm -hmm. awesome. 530% increase of norepinephrine just by being in a cold, uh, submerged in cold water. Um, in the brain, norepinephrine increases arousal and alertness. Like you said, I feel alert. Why are you feeling alert? Why are you feeling more energized? Norepinephrine's kicking in, it's mm -hmm. boosting. Also improves the retrieval of memory and focus. You said, you know, I felt more focused, mm -hmm. this is why. Um, you know, norepinephrine is, it's necessary for increasing physical exercise. It's also, you know, the fight or flight hormone, the mm -hmm. fight or flight mm -hmm. um, uh, safety or survival. Like if you're mm -hmm. basically on the edge of a cliff about to fall off or being chased by a lion or whatever, right, norepinephrine, you want that to kick in, mm -hmm. help you kind of get yourself out of danger and save your life if you need to. Now, obviously, you don't want to be in that constantly 24-7. Yeah. That overstimulation of stress is going to cause problems. That's why, you know, cold shower for five minutes, 10 minutes, even up to an hour if you're soaking is, is very good for you because actually you, you transfer into more of a meditative state the longer you're in it. Mm -hmm. And so... Your norepinephrine increases, but you also are calm. So it's not, you're not in a stress and anxious like, you know, well, you could be. Someone might be if they're fighting it. <laughs> yeah. But if you accept it, I'm in the cold water. This is mm -hmm. good for me. You actually become really relaxed mm -hmm. and focused. It's really, it's counterintuitive, but it's quite incredible. You know, yeah. did you find that, that you could get to a point where you were relaxed mm -hmm. and not tense, not fighting it? Exactly. Just like what you said too, to actually put 
the focus on just being calm. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, when you first you first step into it and it's just like, this is cold. Yeah. But then when, when suddenly you allow the shoulders to drop mm-hmm. and you sink into it. And then just as you said, you can get into a deep meditative state. I mean, it, that it put me, it put me just complete and total stillness without thought because it's just, and then, and then just as you're saying, suddenly it gets way easier past that three minute mark. That's where the attention just fully goes into focus is just on the present moment. Yeah. So From what I find. Absolutely. Yep. I find the same thing. And that's when I get in the, the thing that I do is I take some deep breaths right away. I mean, it turns to cold. I put my face in the water and I prepare myself. This is going to be cold. As soon as the cold hits, I take deep breaths. And immediately within five to seven breaths, I'm already like, boom, I start calming down. I can turn my back to the water and I can just sit there comfortably, like really quickly. So when you're, when you're doing the cold showers, are you turning that nozzle all the way to the coldest Setting to the coldest setting, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so well, I, I I've, I've I've experimented with all of it, right? Mm-hmm. Where I start with a cold shower from the beginning, mm-hmm. and actually, I find you can get right into it like quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like right before this podcast, I did a cold shower too. Yeah, but I did warm. I spent two minutes just shampoo and stuff like that, and warm, and then I turned it to cold for about five minutes. So. That's kind of more common for me now, um, especially in the winter here. The air is cold. I'll start with you know a little bit warm, mm-hmm. do my shampoo stuff. It takes me two or three minutes to, to wash, and then then I'll do about five minutes in the cold. Um, but sometimes I'll just go straight cold, and so you know you want to experiment with it, want to play with it. Um, the other thing that noradrenaline and norepinephrine has been known to do is it can help depression and mood can improve mm. cognitive function, can yeah. improve or even potentially reverse or prevent Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, migraines, bipolar, and chronic fatigue. Mm. So an increase in this is a really good thing. Um, going into the fourth thing that's from these scientific studies is it increases your plasma aldosterone by 23%. So aldosterone, now here's the interesting thing, it's an important hormone in helping control the blood volume and blood pressure. So what it does is it actually regulates your blood pressure, it balances your blood pressure. So even while um, your blood pressure is increasing slightly, Mm. then aldosterone kicks in Mm. and it helps to balance the blood pressure at a healthy level. So that increased by 23%. So if you're worried about, oh, my blood pressure can't. Uh, it's going to go too high. Actually, no. Aldosterone kicks in and helps balance that so that you know, you're pumping. That's why you felt more recovered after soaking for eight minutes because your body is literally pumping more blood mm-hmm. to your joints, to your muscles, to your places that need to be recovered. The more blood you can get there, the faster mm-hmm. you're going to heal mm-hmm. anything, right? Yep. Um, uh, also, the cold water helps reduce inflammation so Mm -hmm. if you're going to be you know inflamed you know if you're inflamed from heavy workouts or whatever you know that's going to help with pain inflammation goes down that sort of stuff Um, and then the fifth piece which is really incredible is that they saw an increase in dopamine by 250 percent that's that feel good chemical that naturally naturally produces within the body. Yeah, so yeah. dopamine is a neurotransmitter and it really helps control your brain's reward and pleasure centers. Yeah. So you see dopamine deficiencies uh, in Parkinson's disease and people with low dopamine are prone, more prone to addiction. Um, dopamine is more known as the motivation molecule, mm. right? It provides drive and focus you need to be productive. So kind of here's how dopamine works. You do something that you enjoy, like eating your favorite food, having sex. Uh, In this case, even if you don't enjoy it, but you take a cold shower, dopamine, boom, Mm. releases. And what it does is it's giving you a sense of pleasure, a sense of reward, Mm. and it's telling you, hey, this thing feels good. You should keep doing it. So that's how, you know, dopamine can also lead to addiction, right? Someone who does drugs and dopamine releases and all of a sudden they feel, 
oh, wow, this feels really good. I should keep doing this. That's how people get addicted to things. Um, same thing with caffeine. Caffeine and sugar and those things will boost your dopamine. The problem is it's an artificial boost, so it crashes. But you get addicted to it. So you keep going back to the caffeine because your dopamine is being release, released. Or keep going back to the sugar or the fatty foods or whatever. And you're like, oh, wow, I feel so good. But it's, but it's you know releasing that dopamine in in a way to where you become dependent on it and you get addicted to it. Mm-hmm. That's where uh, taking a cold shower, for example, you can release dopamine naturally. You feel really good um, and, and you don't get addicted to cold showers. Uh, there was a study done that it doesn't show um, dependency whatsoever, right? And so it'd be hard to think of getting addicted to cold showers. Like, yeah, I have to take a cold shower every five minutes. Huh? Oh my God, more cold showers. It's like, <laughs> you, don't think, you just don't see that as something that's going to happen, right? Yeah. But wow, what what a way healthier, natural, free way to boost your dopamine mm-hmm. without having those big crashes that you get from excess caffeine, excess sugar, even addiction to, you know, too much sex, things like that. You know, oh, too, you can't have too much sex. Actually, you can, and it can totally drain your adrenals your kidneys you know really cause health problems if you're doing it every day all the time right so anyway it's a different podcast we won't go into too many details on that in this one but the other thing that lack of dopamine people who are low in dopamine or dopamine Mm -hmm. deficiency the things that that you see in them is fatigue Mm -hmm. um, apathy lack of focus uh, forgetfulness sugar cravings low motivation Mm -hmm. and moodiness um, so, you know, if you're feeling those or, you know, somebody that, you know, is definitely showing signs of, of all those things, or even some of those things, it's very likely they have, or you have low dopamine levels. And again, cold showers is a really good way to boost your dopamine, um, to boost your epinephrine, to boost your, uh, clarity, your focus, your willpower, all these things, healing, recovery. And, and it, you don't have to sit in it for an hour at a time, you know, although you can, and you should experiment with that. All you have to do is, is, um, start as Derek did a minute and then do three minutes and then five minutes and work up to 10 minutes, you know, work up, get the experience of what 10 minutes is like in a cold shower. Um, but at some point you can just average five to 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So when you do your cold shower, just an average five to 10 minutes, somewhere in there, every time you do it, you'll notice all of these benefits happening. You'll prove it to yourself that this is an incredibly healthy way to basically take your life, your mm-hmm. performance, your energy levels, your focus, everything to a much higher level. That's it for today's episode. Our hope and desire is that you get as much out of these interviews and episodes as we do. Each week, you can count on us being here to help you activate the greatness that's already within you. And we can all do that by continuing to develop and grow our minds, bodies, emotions, and connection to a higher purpose. Please make sure to share this with your friends on Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, and Instagram. Tag Crane Factor and use the hashtag activating greatness so we can continue growing this community together and changing the world for the better. And a huge shout out to our sponsors for making this show possible. Head over to performancetea.com to try their recovery, balance, focused, and energy teas. These teas are made from incredible healing herbal plants that help your body heal, gives you natural energy, helps prevent disease, and help you feel better in every way. Again, that's performance tea, that's T-E-A, performance tea.com, and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount off your order. That code works on their website, and it also works on Amazon. Again, ACTIVATE15, and you'll get a 15% discount off of these amazing teas. We appreciate you tuning in and for supporting our sponsors who make this show possible. Remember, you already have greatness within you. You just need to activate it. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you on the next episode.